here we are with the number one contenders extreme rules matchup here as we have Trevor Phillips on his way to the ring of former warfare championship winner and I just had to face uh Jack Frost and the last video I said the wrong person by the way I said Dr. Doom it's not Dr. Doom this song is lit by the way it's uh Tommaso Ciampa's theme music by the way so that's oh my god no no Trevor Trevor he sees him. Oh, chair shot, and the match begins. Oh my goodness, I think Trevor Tre Tre might be a bit intoxicated, and now he's getting punished with a chair by Jack Frost. And again, another chair shot. No, Trevor takes the chair away, looking to fight back now. Looking to turn things around into his favor. Oh my god, oh, the half Nelson backbreaker. Devastating. And a knee to the face for good measure. Jack Frost trying to get the jump on his opponent here. A desperate man doing desperate things. Wait a minute. Heads back into the ring. Now got the chair again. Oh, he's going the wrong way. This is like trouble. And he got him that time. Oh, my God. Trevor tried to time it, but uh, Jack Frost caught him anyway. Trevor takes off the jacket. This match is underway here. Oh, my God. A net breaker. I can't believe it. I mean, there's no rules, but damn, dude. I mean, you got to earn the victory. And then now he's going to do this. This is how he does it. Interesting. We gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. I mean, I can't really blame him too much. Oh, wow. What a kick that was from Jack Frost as he takes over this matchup and continues to maintain control of Trevor Phillips. This is not a man you want to get into a fight with Trevor, but uh, Jack Frost right now is actually... Wait a minute. Oh. Almost caught him right there with another half Nelson backbreaker. And that time he got counted to the arm dragon. Now the small package roll up here looking to steal the victory. Oh, not even. Not even a two. I thought he was going to get two count at least, but no. He got right across the face. Actually, right on the chin, it looks like. Now what? Again. Another attack from Jack Frost, stumping out the body that time. He's got the chair in hand once again. This looks bad for Trevor. Oh, wait a minute. Trevor gets out of the way overhand right that time. Trevor just ate the chair shot. It all the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink there to Jack Frost. Second rope. Oh, no, actually. Oh, it's just a punt. Faked him out right there. Trevor doesn't fly around like that. He's going for a quick cover here. There's one. He's only going to get a one count, though. He has to do a lot more damage to Jack Frost, if you ask me. Jack Frost had a great match against Stone Cold. And on the Christmas Classic, as he escapes right there, swooping out the legs. Overhand right. And if it's shot blocks. Oh, and there's the chop block right there. Interesting. And now it's to the corner. This looks bad. Once again. Has him in Well, wait a minute. Oh, Death Valley Driver. I thought he was going to do it on the chair. If he would have done that, that would have been amazing. But he didn't. Kicks to the back now. Rolling Death Valley Driver, I like that. Now he's going to the outside. This is not Fall Sky anywhere, by the way. So he's going to be looking for yet another weapon to add to the matchup here. And he's got a baseball bat. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, my God. I think he was aiming for the back of the head. I think he was aiming for the back of the head. Now he's got the chair. Oh, and again, a shot. Foreign objects being used left and right here. Jack Frost is down. One, two. Oh, man. He can out right there. J Trevor's like, this guy's a tough son of a bitch. I mean, he's just sitting here. Taking an ass whooping from me. I think you want to stay down. Oh, the casual elbow drop from Trevor. And Trevor's filling himself right now. I don't really blame him. I mean, you got to be hyped. But at the same time, this guy might be intoxicated, as I mentioned before. As a drug habit, he needs to get out of. Heard he went to rehab, but then the uh, doctor disappeared. I don't know what happened there. Clothesline over the top rope. I take no responsibility off that clothesline over the top rope anyway. Oh, looking for the stump. Got countered. And now look at this. Jack Frost right back in it with a net breaker. What is this? On the outside. The over. Oh, wait a minute. On the outside. Oh, the kill switch on the floor. A kill switch on the floor. Absolutely brutal. Heading under the ring now is Jack Frost. He's looking for a ladder. This could actually uh, be bad for him here as Trevor's trying to get back to his feet. Jack Frost now. Got the ladder in the ring. Trevor trying to get up. Wait, oh, rolls out of the way. Trevor, what a net breaker right there. Excellent counter. Wait a minute. Oh, look for the axe handle. Nobody home right there. Jack Frost gets behind him. 
but for some reason, even though he has the roll-up ability, he just stands there and does nothing. Irish whip. Oh my god, what an elbow. Right back to the head again. Jack Frost will target that head all day if he has to. Ask Ronald McDonald, who's still been out of action. Still. Get this counted, though. Trevor. Oh, what an uppercut. Trevor now. Got a hold of him here. This looks bad for Jack Frost. What a power bomb. Not done, though. Gets him back to his feet. Now he's going to send him. Oh, into the ladder. This looks bad. What's going to happen here? Stunner. Oh, wait. Counter by Jack Frost right there. That's what he needed. Up on the shoulders now. Trevor, though, with a counter. Inverted DDT. Nice counter by Trevor. Quick cover again on Jack Frost. One. Two. Oh, no. Got the head. Elbow. Elbow. Repeated elbows to the skull. Setting it up here now. Oh, not going to happen. Takes the ladder away now. Just Jack Frost. What's he doing? Oh. Going for the strike with the ladder. That didn't work out. And here we go. Now he got him. Boca Bend is trying to get the advantage. But now they're able to until that stiff ladder shot from Jack Frost. Waiting for him to get to his feet. Trevor actually recovering miraculously. And now he has the ladder once again. And Jack Frost. Oh, just gets drilled. And rolls to the outside wisely. Trevor throwing the ladder out. Jack Frost. Oh, catches him with that. Devastating combination. He missed, but caught him with the go-around rather quickly. One. No. Glad he might have had it right there. Oh, man. Oh, to the face. Need that chin once again. Jack Frost is softening him up for something big. And I think he's softening him up for that icicle knee, if he can get it. He sends it into the corner. Strength there, that was nice. What is this? What is this? Scale in the middle rope. Looking for the avalanche. Can he get it? He got it. Sends him across the ring. This could be it if he can get the cover. Perhaps a bit worn out. Into the cover. One, two. Oh, and it's not enough. It is not enough. What is Jack Frost going to have to do to defeat Trevor Phillips? I don't know. Oh, beautiful Pele kick right there. That was cool. As back to the outside now. Jack Frost going for that chair once again. And Trevor is down. Oh, wait for the shot. Oh, wait for him for the shot again. Trevor stops it. Trevor now up on the shoulders for Jack. Is this backpack? Backpack stunner? Oh, no. Brutal. And now turns it into the sharpshooter here. No rope breaks in this match, so Jack Frost could very well be on the verge of tapping out. Is he going to? Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. Oh, he got out of it. He got out of it. Oh, my God, he caught him. He caught him with the icicle knee. Out of nowhere, surprisingly able to be able to pull off a maneuver like that after his lower back was just damaged. One, two... Oh, and Trevor pops the shoulder up out in time. Damn. How was it going to take? Jack Frost, oh, budging that chair in the corner here. And Trevor, back to his feet. Jack, wait a minute. Counter by Trevor, the fireman's carry takedown. Trevor with the overhand. Jack in trouble. Trevor's got to lift it up. Set him up for something. Look at the strength of Trevor, by the way. Slamming him in the top turnbuckle and just going to toss him back to the center. Looking for the quick cover here. Going to do it. No. Very innovative maneuver from Trevor, but he's going to have to do more if he wants to win. And out trapping him. Oh, my goodness. With the hesitance with these elbows. These pointed elbows to the freaking hairline. And this could be it here for Jack Frost if Trevor can hit whatever this may be. From the top. Oh, what a splash. What a splash. He's still not done. Gets him back up. The Irish whip. Oh, head first into the chair. That should do it. Into the cover. One, two. Oh, still in it. Still in it somehow. Wait, rolls. Oh, there you go. That's what he needed. He caught him with the drop kick. Turned things around here. And now Jack is going for it. Oh, Impaler DDT. He got all of that one. Is that going to do it? 
One, two, and again another kick out. What a war this has been so far. It's the outside now goes Jack. He's got the steel steps. Most of these weapons have been introduced by Jack, sometimes detrimental, other times helpful. As he sets up the steel steps in the ring now. Trevor is up on his feet, and Jack Frost got that net breaker. Right back to work on the head once again. Just now, kick to the gut. Trevor might be done for. Trevor might be done for right here. Oh, power bomb on the steel steps. That should do it. Wait a minute. He doesn't want to cover just yet. Jack Frost from the top rope. Frog splash. That should do it. One, two. Oh, and again, another kick out. He gets him up quickly, though. Oh, what an elbow that was. Again, another cover. Is that going to do it? Two, and again. This time, barely. Trevor rolls the shoulder up in time. Counter. Overhand shot from Trevor. Wait a minute. Devastating spine buster. Back to his feet. Trevor. Is he going to go for here? Looks like he's going for another power bomb. Wait a minute. No, Jack. Beautiful escape right there. Charges in. Into the corner now goes Jack. Elbow. Elbow. Again. Oh my goodness. Just rocking him with elbow after elbow. Now he has him down and just goes into a ground and pound here, cutting Trevor open. Trying to continue the assault. Trevor with the uppercut though, bleeding out the top of his head, kicks to the gut, stunner! This could be the end. He has him down, all he has to do is go for a cover here. Trevor has it won, but he's taking too much time perhaps. Jack, oh, tries to crawl away, but Trevor says no. No, 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 you don't get to crawl away, sir. Kick to the gut. This is the end right here. The lethal dosage of meth and phetamine. Here we go. Got it. That's it, folks. That is it. Hook that leg because you just won yourself a number one contendership to return and go after the World for Championship. But I guess we're wrong because Jack Cross pops his shoulder up to kick out. How miraculous is that? Oh, wait a minute. Off the dodge. Oh, kick to the gut, though, to stop him. Jack Frost, though, with the jawbreaker. Jack Frost. Oh, whiff the icicle knee. That gets countered, though. Jack Frost in trouble. Trevor. Whoa. Oh, no. X flex on the steel steps. And now just going after him is Trevor. A man possessed at this point. This should be it for Jack. Trevor's setting him up for something big, perhaps. He's got him at a knee. Oh, back to the head again. Quick cover. Does he have him? Oh, and a kick out. He tried to go for the icicle knee, but it was blocked. Trevor now has to wonder what's it going to take. He's got to hit him with something big as soon as possible. Here we go. The stunner. Got the stunner again. And this time, it should be over. Went for it. No. Countered. Oh, went for it. Countered Fireman's Carry takedown. Trevor now. Snapmare. Going for the head again. Trevor is relentless and persistent on defeating him at this point. Oh, wait a minute. Triangle choke. Wow, not triangle choke. What is this? Hell's Gate? A go go Plata? Is this going to be over? Could be. Possibly. Oh, look at Jack Frost, though. Jack Frost able to escape yet again. Goes after him, but Trevor fires back with a clothesline. Trevor's got him down. Here we go. Looking for it. That's countered. What a government suplex from Jack. Jack now. Standing moonsault. Looking to continue the assault. Trevor takes him down with the shoulder tackle. Trevor gets him back up. This could be it. And a third stunner. Jack Frost, though, is up. Oh, and a clothesline to Trevor. Oh, my God. How was he in this thing? Form shot. Form shot. Oh, my God. And a Pele kick. Gets him back up quickly. Overhand. Sets it up. Kill switch is not going to do it. That should be it. That should be it. 
One, two, Trevor kicks out again. Oh, this is it. That is it, that's it. The freaking snowball effect pal driver. It's over. It is over. Hook in the leg. One, two, that's it. As soon as I saw him set it up, I just, it was over. It was obviously over. He couldn't kick out of that. Kill switch on the floor. He went after the head so many times in this matchup. These two went back and forth. It's actually really cool to see Jack Frost and Trevor Phillips putting on a show. Two, probably the most underrated competitors in FWF, and they really went after each other here. Jack Frost is victorious. You had to figure that he was going to win this one, but now we move on to the main event. It appears immediately following that matchup, the FWF champion wants to address his challengers in the championship chamber. Already qualified Sub-Zero, Deathstroke, and The Flash. Spider-Man had an awesome matchup against Captain America last week. Check it out if you want to. I enjoyed it. Being an FWF superstar takes a lot of hard work and sacrifice to spend a lot of time traveling, missing out on important holidays and milestones in my family's lives. There are many, or there are many days where I sit and wonder if I've made the right choice to follow my dreams and whether or not I should just pack it all up. Would you guys make it all worth it? I don't like doing this. I'm not a politician or a public speaker. I'd rather let what I do in this ring do the talking for me. But we're in a place, the interview of where this is part of what we do. You want to be heard, you've got to make a little noise. There's a who's who of superstars looking to fight me in this championship chamber matchup. And none of them, I mean none of them, would ever be able to defeat me for this championship one-on-one. -on -one. The odds are stacked against me, but I'd live to have the odds stacked against me. I've been in this match before, and just like last time, I'm going to win again. Look, I'm not saying that I'm the only guy around here who deserves, this, who deserves to be the f of champion. I am saying, and I hope I don't come off as a bold here, but you're hard-pressed, or you'll be hard-pressed to find someone more deserving than me. Because what you deserve as F3F champion is a fighter. And that's what I am. Every time someone challenges me to a match, I accept it. No matter what the obstacle is, I overcome it. And I retain my championship. And it will stay that way forever. Well... Bold words from Spider-Man. But, uh, I guess we're going to move on to our main event. Best two out of three falls. Here we go.